Hello my beautiful Pisces friends, how are you today? Welcome to the channel if you're new. If you're a returning visitor, thank you so much for returning. Welcome and let's get started. All right, we have three cards. The cards want to speak. The energy in the recent past Pisces is a ten of coins, feeling as though you are building a legacy marriage. In fact, you are indeed. You have built a legacy relationship. The energy is there in the recent past. Whether you're married to someone now or hoping to get married, that energy is very powerful. This is Virgo energy, the willingness to do the work, the grit, the guts, the courage to be loyal, the courage to have children, and the delightfulness of being able to have a partner who, with whom you can swap roles so that you can both enjoy nurturing and also going out in the world and creating a legacy of your own. This is a legacy card often related also to inheritances. It is an energy that speaks to the fact that you would like to create legacy in your life for future generations as well as for yourself, you know, to have the good life really living the good life. The current energy that you have in your love life right now is fire in your belly. You have been to the war zone. You have come back from war. You have uh, the wars of love, the wars of the world. You know, life every day can be very challenging and you are really, this is Sagittarius energy. You have fire in your belly to continue forward. You're holding your lantern, you're guarding, but not too much. I like it. Your energy as you view the future is that you are working on it. Again, Virgo energy, moving slowly into the future, taking your time, being very deliberate in your love actions. What do we have here for the way that the world is viewing you? When the world looks at Pisces right now, what are they seeing? Now, this could be a projection, but it can be a reality. But we like to see how we are appearing in the world when it comes to love. Okay, great card, Three of Pentacles. There we go, Capricorn energy. A lot of Earth energy here. Capricorn energy is all about the willingness to go out in the world and play well with others. It is the energy of collaboration. It's the energy of building something. It's the energy of really enjoying good communication with others and being, doing a great job right now, both in your personal and your private, in your public life. What does Spirit say is going to be the best way for you to get what you want? Moving forward, we have the Queen of Swords. Cutting out what doesn't serve you, Pisces. You are definitely in the mode. You have fighting spirit. You are using your discretion. Libra energy and balance. If somebody isn't on board with you in your love life, you're not interested. To be perfectly blunt, you are not interested. You will turn your back on anybody who does not meet your criteria at this point in time. The way your future looks moving forward, beautiful energy, soulmate energy. Soulmate, the soulmate journey is so important. It's not just about having a wonderful lover, but it's really feeling like you found a place in the universe to be one with a person that you love, somebody with whom you can open up, somebody who could be very different than you, somebody who could be very similar to you. But what we're seeing here is definitely a strong yin-yang energy. The arrow of love is here, and a lot of this has to do with self-love. If we cannot love ourselves, we cannot go out and find someone to love us because you are projecting a beautiful, lovely energy into the world, Pisces, that says that you really are seeking the one. You want to build legacy. You want to make that choice. So what is the hidden energy for you right now, Pisces, Seven of Swords? You are checking somebody out. The Seven of Swords energy says that you are on, like, I call this, like, the Mission from God card. You know, if you ever watched the movie with John Belushi from many years ago, uh, they were on a mission from God. And that's what I see. You're in this energy of really wanting to know what the truth is. You don't feel that you're getting the truth from somebody. This can also indicate that you are doing surveillance, that you are checking things out. The crows here of truth. 
are making a lot of ruckus. They're flying around you right now. So your inner truth in terms of your love life is going to require you to make a decision. Okay, so we have to see where this is going to take you at this particular time. Let's see what spirit is advising for you, Pisces, to move forward very rapidly. We have three cards that came out. Move forward very rapidly, understanding the challenges at hand, uh, understanding that you know opposing forces will always be part of the love experience, of the life experience. Uh, you know, being able to drive your chariot without going off the road, so to speak. You have a strong Leo presence in your life right now. Somebody who may be pushing really hard. Uh, an energy that says that this person would like to marry you. And what I'm seeing here is Spirit is saying this is a good option. Whoever it is that uh, represents this energy, this fiery energy, uh, this earthly energy is really someone who is coming in as the Aries queen, somebody who's very passionate, who's fun, who has been very successful in business and, you know, in life in general. This is a sexy queen. She is vibrant. She's full of life. You can't pull one over on the Aries queen. So let's go ahead and see what's going on here now. Why do we have the ten of coins in the recent past? It's a very nice reading really nice reading because if you don't know that you want to go to California and you turn your car and you go head east while you want to go to California you're in Chicago you head east you're going to end up in New York but so it's really important to have direction that's what I'm seeing here you're seeking the direction in your life at this time you're studying things you're really looking at people much more carefully than you ever have in the past. You're really looking to see who's telling the truth, who's honest, who's straightforward, what's real and what isn't real is what this tells me. What is the Ten of Coins doing here? Okay, you are being very, very um, authoritative in your desire of what you want. So for those Pisces who are not in a relationship currently, you are absolutely determining the path and the route that you are taking in your search for love. For those of you who are in a relationship, you are looking at your current relationship with the eyes of detachment. You're making a judgment call as to whether the investment is a good investment. The Four of Wands, beautiful energy, the stability, the honeymoon, the buying the house, that after the commitment phase of life, which you want, you want to have joy, you want to have that good energy. That energy is around you right now. You have this beautiful possibility of making a choice to love somebody and make a formal commitment. For those of you who have not met this person yet, you're about to meet them. So why do we have the Knight of Pentacles here, the Ace of Coins, making an offer? So, you know, as you move forward, you're either going to be available to make an offer or you will make an offer. But whenever we give ourselves to the situation fully, as we do in the lover's card, when we go in that direction, we have that is really making an offer. Here I am. Do you, what do you think? Are we right for each other? And you're going to be very selective, very picky. Virgo is known for being a perfectionist. So as you move forward, you also have to recognize the Three of Coins card. You know, is that everybody's a little bit different, and just because they're different from you does not mean that, you know, you shouldn't have a relationship. Oftentimes, you know, when we look at Pisces, Virgo is your opposite on the wheel of astrology. So what do we see here for the Three of Coins in terms of how you're interacting in the world? You are making all the right moves. We have the beautiful chess playing emperor. Play to win only. And that's where you're at in your love life at this time. What is, why is the Queen of Swords here, the Four of Swords. It does look like you may be cutting someone out of your life right now, Pisces. And it looks as though you're very much 
aware that you could hurt someone or devastate them. It really speaks to the fact that you too have been wounded in a relationship and we can see that with the Nine of Wands. There are no relationships that are perfect. There are no relationships that do not push us to ask about how we fit into life and love. We have the beautiful lover's card. So right now you are either juggling lovers, it's time to make a choice, it looks as though you are investigating or doing background checks on whoever you're going to invest in, Virgo energy again. So, excuse me, that's Taurus energy. So before you invest, everything that you have, which is what this is going to require, you are definitely, you know, online and in life, really keenly observant of your person. The Ace of Wands, look at that. You are moving forward with swiftness. That is the action you're taking. You are not the back seat uh, passenger in the automobile. You are going to release someone. You are going to make that choice right now, Pisces. Also, too, whatever lover that you're looking at is in the same energy. So both of you are in this very powerful energy of deciding what you want, moving forward. The Hierophant card is all about traditional relationship. So we have one marriage card, two marriage cards, three marriage cards. We see you making a choice. We see you eliminating somebody that you're possibly dating now or you've recently eliminated or you will eliminate so that you can make a choice that allows you to boss the heck up. Oh, here, look at that. That's crazy. I can't make this up, Pisces. You have started with the Ten of Coins. You're ending with the Ten of Coins with a lot of magnetic energy. You're happy with your choice. We have the fact that for a period of time, you were in a third party situation as you were dating. Now, this is not unusual when you're dating and you haven't committed because the two of coins with the three of swords, for those of you who are dating somebody who's married, you're, you're cutting out. You are leaving. If, that per if you are not leaving this person who was married, who insisted on staying married, they are leaving their spouse their person, there's, this is all about authenticity. Right now, Pisces, you are all about authenticity. You want your love life to be what you want it. You want the passion, the excitement, the joie de vivre. Let's see what else we have here for outcome clarifiers on this beautiful queen. You are definitely in love. You are, that, there you go, queen of cups energy. Very beautiful Cancerian energy. We have the Six of Cups. So again, many of you are letting go of somebody from your past. You're cutting them loose so that you, it, whatever it is that you want here that doesn't come to fruition, you are definitely making a high-powered personal choice to have your happiness, to meet your goal. And if that means you are cutting someone out of your life that you've known for a long time, you are releasing them. So what I have here, Pisces, is that you're in a very powerful place in your life right now. Let's look and see what we have for the Sacred Forest Oracle advice at this time. I'm going to take this to the extended. The link will be below. We're going to really dive into this relationship reading with, I'm going to pull a lot more cards. We're going to look at the dark side of this Three of uh, the, the Three of Swords with the Two of Coins. We're going to look at why we have two different uh, Ten of Coins cards here. We're going to look at that um, Seven of Swords energy. What is it that you're feeling very much like you have to discover about a particular person? Mystic Meadow, a sanctuary. So it's very important at this time that you really keep your own counsel. Do not ask other people what they think. You will get tainted advice. Spirit is saying, Spirit's got your back. We have your back, Pisces. We have your back. So now we're going to look at the ancestral, excuse me, ancestral, Angels and Ancestors Oracle Cards by Kyle Gray and Lily Moses is the artist. So let's look and see what we have here. This is really a profound reading and somewhat confusing because we've got a lot of characters here mixed up. So it looks like there are three or four players 
on the board right now. See or see beyond the current situation. Pisces, that's extraordinarily good, good advice for you. So I'm going to go ahead and take this to the extended because there's a lot we need to figure out uh, and how this is going to play out. But at the end of the day, you are on your way to a very beautiful soulmate connection. You're on your way to your goals. You are definitely in a good place right now, Pisces. It's not comfortable always, but you really have a very clear knowledge and inner knowing of what your journey requires. So hope to see you extended. If not, hope to see you in another video. Thanks so much, Pisces.